Well, I'm ready to get going here. guys how's everybody doing sorry I had a hiccup there in my live stream so kind of had to redo it Again, I went, I went and uh, I rebooted my router and modem and all that. And hopefully, it'll be all right. Maybe not. We'll see. So, as you can tell, we are on part five of this little painting. <coughs> part four was uh, me just going back and outlining everything uh, in this little red glitter glue I've got wanted to kind of outline stuff so uh, basic agenda tonight is and this is Sunday it is 523 p.m. Sunday March the 13th time is going by guys so oh, what I'm doing now at this point is I'm taking the orange let me go ahead and say Hey everybody, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome back to another episode of The Body Beatdown, where we not only talk about health and fitness in the normal, typical, physical way you might think from working out to cardiovascular to food, etc., but we also do things that touch on depression and anxiety and even epilepsy. The seahorse is the mascot for epilepsy. And my wife has epilepsy, and she asked me to paint her a seahorse. She doesn't know I'm doing it. It's kind of a surprise. And uh, so I'm trying to get it done. So that's kind of where we're at, guys. Now you're all caught up. There. So what I'm going to do at this point, I've made up my mind, is I'm going to do like kind of some, uh, I'm going to mix some orange and some black. Just to kind of dirty it up a little bit and we're gonna do just kind of a quick over like go over this almost kind of like scales kind of but just a really quick uh, easy way so maybe not the best most amazing way but it's gonna work out I think I don't know I've never done it <laughs> so but I have confidence guys I have confidence we're gonna do this. I want to. I want to do this to add just a little bit of depth to my character, and uh, give it a little bit of something extra there. So I got my little ice cube tray. We'll do a little mix in here. A little bit of orange. A little bit of that orange. So I got a little blob of orange there blob of orange a little blob of some black I don't guess I had to do black but I guess I'll do black that's what she said <laughs> all right that's one teeny tiny little blob of black let's see how that does and I wish I would have got a little, a little bit of a mixing stick so I could have mixed it together a little bit. Uh, we'll do, not even gonna do, I'm just gonna do a drop of water. Literally, I'm sticking the 
paintbrush in there, I'm gonna drip a drip of water in the paint. Maybe three drops. All right. Well, let's mix this up and see what we get. Might be a little bit dark. We'll see. We'll see what we get. <coughs> we're just wanting to, we're wanting to kind of liven this up a little bit and give it a little something. You know? Okay, I don't want this paintbrush. I want this one. Using just kind of a little flat paintbrush. Now, these are all budget things. These, uh, my wife bought me a little paint kit and this canvas and stuff for Christmas. It's super duper duper budget, like probably no more than twenty dollars for everything. <clears throat> so it's not high quality stuff. And then I went out and I bought this little thing of paints here at Walmart, like the day after Christmas. And uh, these are actually pretty good in comparison. So I'm using these. <coughs> Tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna liven up this video just a little bit. There. We're gonna put a little bit of light in here on the subject and it kind of washes out the video a tad, but it gives me a little light. Something I can look at here, guys. It's not exactly what I was wanting, but it's going to have to do, guys. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I don't really know how I like it. Good news is it don't matter because uh, we're still going with it. <laughs> so it's all about learning.
I may regret this. There might be some regret. I'm not going to lie. But I, want, I wanted to give him a little bit of interest, a little texture, a little something. Uh, please forgive me a little bit, please. I got some sinus stuff going on. A little bit of something going on. As always. So I hope everybody's having a good day. If you get the weekends off, hope you had a, a good weekend. You know, you have something kind of in your mind and you see it kind of a certain way and then you get it going and it's like, eh. Eh. But it might turn out all right. You know, we could always add some more color if we wanted, whatever we want to do. What's funny is it kind of made it green. That's strange. It's a little different than what I wanted. 
we're gonna go with it guys see how it does Of this bluish color here. The words on here are so small I can't even see. Cerulean blue. C E R U L E A N, maybe? Blue? I don't know. I'm going to add a little blue into that magenta. Let's see what it does. Just see what it does, guys. You never know until you try. <clears throat> so, yesterday was my deadlift day. And also on deadlift day, typically I also do a bicep, uh, just a, a real light bicep kind of workout. That don't mean I don't do a lot of sets. I may do five sets of the biceps or I might do 10 or 15. It just 12, I don't know. It just depends. But I don't usually do anything crazy. So uh, my standard, uh, dang it, my standard bicep day is on uh, Wednesday. So if I do anything amazing it'll be usually on a Wednesday uh, just to get a little extra workout on them I do them on uh, my deadlift day just to give me a little something else to do and if you didn't catch that maybe go catch it I did a little something crazy on there where I attached my tens therapy machine you know the little electric shock pads I attached it to this arm over here because this is my worst arm and uh, did a little workout with it on and uh, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Basically, I'm just wanting to add a lot of color and make this kind of colorful, so. Um, no real rhyme, no reason for what I'm doing. I'm just doing random. Simple, simple to the point, over and done. I wasn't sure how to tackle the seahorse with doing something like that, and I kind of didn't do it exactly how I wanted, but it is what it is. My wife will like it no matter what. No matter what. Uh-oh, says I'm not giving YouTube enough video information. That must mean we need to update our <coughs> internet again and spend even more money. Because I've already rebooted everything. And nothing's really running. So, they must be trying to get more money out of us it could be what it is well in hopes that you're still there with me hanging out I've already got yellow do I want yellow 
The yellow will help tie it in with this. So yeah, we can go yellow. Oh, I must have used I must use that other yellow, my bad yellow, but this ain't open. We'll kind of go through here and So I may have already mentioned it, but uh, yeah, we had family night last night. We went out and uh, ate some Mexican old food, and then went bowling. We try and do that periodically, about once a month. You know, instead of just getting together and hanging out at someone's house and <clears throat> doing whatever we, uh, you know, it's good to get out and do something. made it interesting at least I can honestly say it's interesting <coughs> so 
So again, uh, this is for my wife. She has epilepsy, and uh, the seahorse is the mascot for epilepsy. Uh, you can go and look, you can search it online. Go to Google ep uh, epilepsy mascot seahorse, whatever, and it'll take you to a website. And I think its name was Campy, the little little orange seahorse. <coughs> and uh, yeah, pretty cute stuff. It's it's interesting. It, it's nice that they got something, you know. Nice that they got something for people to connect with a little bit. Sorry if I'm having some uh, live stream issues. Uh, it, it, it's hit and miss sometimes, you know. Even with the best internet in the world, it's not always not always going to work out the best, guys. So, I actually like that. I think it turned out all right. A little different than what I kind of envisioned in my head, but at the same time, it turned out okay. I actually think I'm going to add a little bit more, another color of uh, scales or whatever inside the belly. Get in my belly. And we still got this to do. And uh, I got this. I got some puffy paint. And I may outline kind of this. and I may do that right now see how it works or do I want to or should I do it in the red glitter let's do it in the seafoam puffy paint why not see how it does see how it does guys That was pretty good. <laughs> that was easy enough. Wonder if I should dot the eye with it. Should I dot the eye with it? I don't know. I was going to take some white paint and kind of do the little white you know, catch of light in the eye. got a little run to it that might be bad that might be bad news ah. need my wife's hair dryer I kind of did it. I kind of took care of it. We're just kind of doing stuff as we go, you know? Just kind of figuring stuff out, guys. Uh, 
sometimes that's the best art <laughs> is the kind you just run with, you know? All right. So now to do something with the fins, if you will, the fins, if you will. Not sure what to do. Did I already go through my paper towels? Jeez Louise, Batman. Do I have any more? So today I did get my walk in. Today's technically my rest day. But I usually always do a walk in. I spin on the bike. I'll probably spin on the bike later. Most likely. You know, once, you're at, once you've done everything else throughout your day. And then you're sitting, sitting around at night. You know, you get kind of bored. Why just sit there whenever you could do something like that, you know. Jump on the bike or go for a walk. Or lift weights again. Do whatever it is you want to do, but do something. You know, even on your rest day, you can do something. So, for the fins, slash main, slash whatever you want to call them. Let's do something, guys. Let's do something. Oh, I did already have yellow. Okay, so that was yellow. It was already open. Michael, you silly duck, goose, goosey duck thing, you. You know what I could do to kind of bring it all back around town is put some more of this magenta that I used initially on the seahorse. I could dab some in here, but no, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> not going to do that. Nope. Huh. I'm getting squirmy because I don't know what I want to do. A little squirmage. Uh, so that's the magenta. I mean, could I do some magenta off in there? Probably. I'll do some magenta off in there. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Let's, uh, what are you? Yellow Ocreer, Ocreer. O C H R E, yellow, blah, blah, blah. Or Amarillo, Arca Amarillo. I don't know. Why don't they just have normal names? What's a normal name, guys? Come on. <coughs> of course, I could also do some of this green. Bright yellow green. Bright yellow green? Well, let's let's do some bright yellow green. Now, that keeps throwing up the air. YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Whatever. You do whatever you want. I got a fast PC. I got fast internet. I rebooted everything. You do whatever you want to do, computer. I don't care. <coughs> I don't care. So let's use some of this here and see what we get. Let me put a little water.
Mill one. Straight paint, make it a little you know you just you want to add some color, you know. We want our seahorse to look happy and colorful. We'll get a little bit more colors off in there. I'll go ahead and go to the bottom here. We're just going to kind of do a little blending, bleeding kind of technique and Mess around a little bit. All right, so we got a little green going off. I might do this. No, because that might blend in with the seafoam line. I might, I might do some of this inside of here. I might do that. Bright yellow green. We'll keep that there. Uh. So we're 38 minutes into the live stream. I know it's probably a little choppy and cruddy, but yeah, it is what it is. I don't really get any views anyway, so. It ends up being more for my goodness, I guess, than anybody's. Dokey, doing good. You know what I'm thinking, guys. Thinking, let's add a little white. <coughs> Matter of fact, I might do some of these same colors, not only here, but in the belly. In the belly. In the belly. Hey, John, the wife and I, legs are sore from dead. Yeah, I bet they are. Hey, I'm sorry if my last stream's a little bad. It says I'm not putting out enough, you know, info to have a smooth video. So I apologize if it's a little goofy. I can't help it. Kind of do that right there <coughs> kind of had the curtain open so I could see a little better yeah it looked like you guys had a pretty good time my wife and I need to do more together we don't really do anything we don't do much of anything Huh. 
It's nice to see you guys out doing stuff, though. Might have got a little bit too much white off in there. Right in a few guys I used to live with. Oh, that's cool. Are they still lifting or did they give up? From the winery, the one has an injury but still lives. Well, that's good they still lift, even if they got an injury. You know, you gotta, if you can do something, you know, within your limits, it's always good to do something. And we got a little, uh, we have a winery here in our town. I think it's still open, I'm not totally sure, but, uh, yeah, they put out wine and used to have little events there and stuff. We uh, we went a few times. I don't drink the wine or nothing. I'm not really, I don't care nothing about all that stuff. So, eh. They are my age and we're chasing. <laughs> young tail. Ah, young tail. Isn't it weird how we get older and we still think that we're, you know, we're still going for the young tail, or we we're we're interested in the young, in the young tail. We like looking. <laughs> yeah, sometimes younger girls like the older guys. little bit hey, it makes you feel good though <coughs> makes you feel pretty good yellow oh hey you got your uh, meat today don't you aren't you lifting I could be wrong, but I think you said it was Sunday. You had to weigh in. Did you weigh in Saturday? And then you lift today? passed on doing the meat. Oh man. Well, I guess if you figured you weren't going to do at least, you know, 
to a certain to a certain level, you know. I guess there's no reason to do it if you're not going to perform at least close to what you're wanting to do. Yeah, I know you didn't drop enough weight, but uh, you know I didn't know if you'd go up to another class or not. Yeah. Yeah, there's always next time. Always next time. Yeah, whenever I told you, you know, whenever I said, yeah, you can do it, you can drop it weight in 24 hours or whatever, you know, you could have, but it takes, you know, it would take some, it would take some serious effort, you know, I've watched you know, I'm sure you have too. You know, you watch plenty of boxers. You watch plenty of bodybuilders and that and what they go through to have to drop weight and all that in a short period of time. And sometimes they got to drop, you know, more than five pounds uh, in that length of time. And, you know, it, it just takes a lot of getting that water out and sweating and all that good stuff. So... <clears throat> Uh, it wouldn't have been easy, probably, but uh, you might could have done it. But then again, it might have been good because you had been sick for the past few weeks and and all that. So I hold the records in the heavier class, and I was not up to 450 bench at this time. Hmm. Oh, you don't think you could have got 450 today? So this is actually turning out pretty decent. I, I wasn't sure at first whenever I started filling in the seahorse, but I'm pretty good with it. I think it's going to be all right. I'm not crazy about the white that I did, but again, that can be covered up pretty easily. No, best would have been maybe 420. But, oh, really? Wow. I mean, I want to say, yeah, that's not good, but... I mean, that would have been great for me. But for you, you know, you're used to doing 450 to 475 or 480 or so, you know. So, yeah, that wouldn't have been, you know. <coughs> yeah, you know, you just got to mix things up and see what works and, uh, Maybe try something else and, you know, uh, even watching some uh, some good videos on YouTube, you know, can help kind of even maybe get you through kind of a, you know, a mental block as to maybe something else you can kind of incorporate or something or, you know, something that that's what's good about YouTube. You know, there's so much information out there and, uh, you know, I take a lot of it uh, with a grain of salt, but then there's some of it that's pretty decent, you know, and, and when you stop and think about it, it, it kind of makes sense, you know, so even with stuff that I say in my videos, it's like I, you know, I mentioned I'm no educated, you know, fitness guru. I just kind of go with what I feel and uh, what I've experienced in the past whenever I lifted and kind of incorporate that into how I am now and kind of think about things and do things a certain way, you know. I think a lot of us use a lot of that, you know, our own experiences and, uh, you know, try to pass that on and, and mixed with a little bit of that there bro science and <laughs> stuff like that. So, you know, uh, I don't, th it's not really as complicated as we try to make it out, you know, just eat decent, sleep decent, work out decent and, you know, you should do okay. <laughs> But I hope you, uh, I hope you like totally get back to normal and get over your sickness all the way. And <coughs> you 
you know, we're not getting any younger, so, you know, if you're going to up your game, if you're going to hit a 500-pound bench, you better get it going. As for me, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I got dropped. You got dropped. Yeah, you'll recover. You'll get there. Uh. Mm. Well, I think I'm going to add a little bit more color to the stuff here. I had to reload your live stream. Well, like I said, it may be on my end too because I keep getting the pop up that that's not enough data out there you know I rebooted everything and all that I try I started a live stream and then it did that and then I ended that live stream rebooted everything and then it's still so we got charter spectrum and sometimes they are okay and sometimes not great I mean we spend a hundred dollars a month just for Wi-Fi so and all of our hardware they changed out all our hardware a while back and got us kind of updated and upgraded to the newer hard hardware so yeah, it's rough whenever you're trying to live stream because you're pushing so much data up into the cloud there that you really got to have a good connection so even, you know, you struggle all the time, but you got a reason. You're out in the middle of nowhere, from what I understand, and, you know, you're kind of having to use hot spots or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. You know, but we're hardwired. We're, like, right here in town and got supposed to be a good connection and all that good stuff, so we shouldn't have no problems. <coughs> not spending that kind of money, we shouldn't have no problems. So what I'm wanting to do at this moment is uh, I want to go get my wife's hair dryer and blow this thing dry, but I'm trying to get the energy to get up and go. So let me run in the bathroom and go get the hair dryer and get this thing going here. I'd like to try and get it done today. this hair dry and get it going. This ain't too awful loud, but I'm sure it is a little bit. some peppers. On my other channel I did some uh, hot challenges. I'm pretty much I pretty much eat whatever. It don't really bother me. Maybe the next day it does. <laughs> but as far as handling heat, I'm pretty good with the heat.
Yeah, that's a lot of jalapenos. Good stuff. A jalapeno is just, to me, a jalapeno is just right. As far as the heat level goes. Uh, I think they're a good all-around pepper. you don't like real hot and yeah, a lot of people don't <coughs> that's not typically what I'm just eating all the time but if I want to do something kind of crazy then uh, then I'll do the you know hot challenges and all that kind of stuff world's hottest chip and hottest gummy bear and hottest beef jerky and hottest uh, you know pepper extract and capsaicin and all that kind of stuff something crazy to do just to kind of see if you can do it number one and kind of push yourself over your limits a little bit or to your limits Hey, Miss Worm, how you doing? Hope you're doing well today. And I'm sorry if you have any interruptions with my live stream. It's kind of iffy for some reason today. Me and Mac B been in here going at it, chit chatting. <coughs> A little bit of chit chat. Trying to get my painting done here. I didn't get to work on it yesterday. So I was hoping to get it all done this weekend. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, I wasn't sure how I was gonna how I was gonna like doing all the filling in and what I was gonna do, but I'm okay with it now. I'm not done, I got a little bit more to go, but Kind of drying it up. I hope this isn't too bad for you. So, whoo! Oh, weekend's already over, guys. Already over. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the weekend to be over just yet. I didn't get to enjoy it enough. Error, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Well, hopefully they won't be experiencing too much buffering. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's use some of this right chill. Or do I want some red? Let's do some red, guys. I don't know what kind of red this is, but it's some kind of a red. <sighs> so no buffering on your end? Well, that's good. Yeah, John, I think YouTube needs to do something. Or uh, 
the internet connection as a whole, from Charter to whoever else is out there, they need to redo some stuff. Famous last words, all gone black. That's what she said. Hey, yo. <laughs> Let's do some red. Come on now. <sighs> A little bit of red. I'm kind of all over the place, guys. <laughs> yeah, you had a full day, John. I might have went overboard now. I might have went a little bit far. We shall see. guys <clears throat> <coughs> you 
Yeah, me and my wife need to get out and do more. She works in uh, restaurants, so she works a lot of hours and a lot of different hours than I do. And, and you know, you get to become homebodies, unfortunately. And, you know, and then with the rising cost of everything... It just, uh, you know, going out sometimes just becomes a hassle. So a lot of times if we do go out, it's like go grab something to eat, you know, at a, a restaurant of our choice. And then maybe go to the store <laughs> or something, you know. That's just kind of how it is. I appreciate it, Miss Worm. I hear excuses just saying, what, from me? it a lot better now well yeah I mean we all use excuses for stuff and but I mean we have over the past 20 years we've gotten to where we sit at home more and more and more and more so why well, you don't take the way she don't want to go out she don't lie she don't really care to go anywhere you know and we have we have more fun probably just sitting at home than I guess we do about anything but you know, in our town, we have to travel really to go and do something. So we have to go at least an hour to hour away to like Jackson or Paducah or Clarksville. And then if you want to do something even more, you got to go to Nashville or Memphis or something like that. Get in the pub and dance. Well, we're not big pubbers. I guess we could dance at home. <laughs> just not not big I'm going out I guess you know army base in college smell the desperation yeah I smell something I think I smell all these paints Clarksville probably not the place to go. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> College girls, though. Wait. You said I got to take my wife. Dang. <sighs> Dang it. Nothing wrong with 
being a homebody. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times we got we have so much stuff that we like in our house that, that no reason to go out. Uh, you know, got all the entertainment you could want, really. And uh, as far as cooking goes, I mean, I like I like what I cook more than I can go out and eat something that I like, and you know. <laughs> More likely to get head on if I bring the wife? Yeah, probably. I don't feel like getting head on. I don't mind the, I don't mind feeling, you know, the, the good feelings that it might give you if a young lady finds you attractive, but eh, I ain't got time for it. That's rather lovely. Uh, what's that? The fact that we find more to do at home or the seahorse? <laughs> or both. Maybe both. And again, I appreciate you guys being here. Honestly, I never have anyone in my live streams. Uh, the most the most I've ever had is maybe a bot pop in. So, both. Yeah, I appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, I don't get a lot of... I don't get a lot of traffic, so... <coughs> yeah... Yeah, they're nice to look at, but I just, I ain't got time for all that. I'm too old. <coughs> too old for all that. See, I'm too old. I'd be home doing stuff like this, and they'd be wanting to go out to the clubs. Well, I'm going to stay home and paint. All right, see ya. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate it, Miss Worm. I know it's not exactly the most entertaining and uh, amazing thing in the world, but, you know, I gotta get it done. So, <coughs> I gots to get it done. I'm gonna add some white to the belly. White to the belly. A little bit of white to the belly. It's going to be a different color white because my brush has got color in it. So it's not going to be exactly white. <laughs> Cleaning a rug. Yeah, it is crazy what you watch, you know. <coughs> I find myself just getting lost in some of the weirdest stuff. Loading mags. Uh-oh. Are you going shooting today or just uh, getting them loaded up? Leave it at that. And we'll put something else in there as well. Little something else. 27th maybe invited over some friends. Oh, okay. Good deal. Are you putting anything on the left side of the canvas? Uh, yes. Eventually I'm going to put something. Not a whole lot because I don't want to make it too busy because he's pretty busy. So I don't want to make anything else too, too much busy. Er, est, ing. <laughs> I want I want kind of the focus to be here, but I did. I got some 
iridescent glitter and glue so of course the glue is going to be iridescent and I thought maybe putting like some little stuff just kind of in the background a little bit uh, maybe a teeny tiny jellyfish or something off in the distance kind of maybe with this or a little bit more of this red glitter glue uh, the red glitter glue is what I outlined him in so I was thinking of doing something kind of like that with the glitter and then you just kind of get glimpses of stuff maybe I don't know we may have northern lights tonight solar CMA dude hit <clears throat> Oh, you get the northern lights where you're at? Huh. You're in Illinois. Uh, Illinois, right? If I'm not mistaken. Illinois. Illinois. Which I'm sure you probably go to Metropolis, to the boat. That's what my wife likes to do. Gamble. That's one reason we had to move away from, uh, move out of Las Vegas. Moved to Las Vegas for two years, and, uh, she liked to keep us broke. Only if there's a major event. Oh, that's cool. We lived in Las Vegas two years, and we vacationed there two times. And I think I gambled maybe $5. And it wasn't because I wanted to. It's because I was sitting there with my wife. And she said, here, do this while you're sitting here. So, oh, about five times. Yeah. She hasn't went in a long time. So, thankfully, sometimes she wins a little bit. You know, most of the time she'll break even and then whatever. Huh. Or lose. If I go, she'll, if I were to go, she'll come back with money because I'm like, you won twenty, give me ten, and you take ten and play ten. And if you win a uh, few dollars on that, give me most of that, and then you take a little bit more, and you, you know. So I'm, I'm kind of the I'm the penny pincher. I don't like gambling or any of that. I think you're further north than Illinois there in the UK. Not getting any northern lights. <coughs> cool, cool. Isn't that pretty cool how you're all the way in the UK and we can all chit chat and connect? Pretty amazing stuff, isn't it? I've been in the technology for most of my life. And uh, <laughs> I remember when all this was really coming into play more mainstream and, you know, it really about 98, 99, 2000, it was all really, really coming into play. And then here we are today, you know, most cases you can have a really good connection and, and really connect well with people and and all that it's really amazing just saying that to Mr. Worm <laughs> Mr. Worm <laughs> I like that now I'm laughing but I assume your last name is not really Worm if it is then I apologize for laughing that your last name is Worm <laughs> if it's not then that's kind of funny Miss Worm Mr. Worm <clears throat> so no not really warm okay good good <laughs> forgive me I am going to use the hair dryer on here so I can get this paint going
centipede. Okay. Add some more color here. Add some more. I oh, got magenta, some sort of a bluish and white. Might go with the orange to kind of tie it in with the body a little bit. Might do that. Like that. <laughs> Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Centipede, wouldn't that be great? Okay, John, I appreciate you dropping in. I really do appreciate it. Have a great night, and I uh, look forward to your videos. Have a great week, and uh, get better, okay? I appreciate you. Miss Worm, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't blame you for bugging out. I know this can only be interesting for so long. <coughs> it's really just to, you know, get a connect going and connect with people if I do, and uh, to have documentation. Nine fifteen live stream tomorrow. All right, John. We'll see you later. All right. That should be good enough. McBean's going to spin this. Alright, so let's add a little bit of uh, this orange color to the belly. Do a little bit of layering on that, what we already got there. I shall be pushing off soon, getting a bit late here. Well, I don't blame you. So, I appreciate you hanging out and uh, giving me your time. And uh, hope it was a little interesting and, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Hope everybody's safe and good in your uh, area of the world and, and all's good. You have a good night and a uh, uh, great week.
any of it glow in the dark? No, it is not. None of it's glow in the dark. Neat idea, though. <clears throat> None of it's glow in the dark. Just your basic acrylics. Uh, except for this one little line right here where I separated the belly and the body. Uh, that is made out of puffy paint. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Uh, it's like a seafoam green kind of puffy paint and I just made uh, one little line right there to separate the belly and the body with that and I used it to dot the eye which I'm not too crazy about so I might be redoing that Seahorses connected to epilepsy. You know, I don't really know, uh, but there is a website you can go to. If you type in, like, uh, epilepsy seahorse mascot, it'll take you to a website, and you can kind of read up on it. And it's got a little story and all that. And then if you scroll down the page, it's actually, uh, there's some little animated movie, it looks like. I haven't watched them, but there's, like, a few clips you can watch of... <coughs> Their animated seahorse, uh, you know, their mascot, whatever. I think his name is Campy. Uh, C-A-M-P-Y, Campy. And uh, just kind of look that up on Google or or whatever search engine you use. And uh, you can kind of read up on it. Just a little couple little paragraphs. But I know epilepsy, they also, I think they have a, a ribbon maybe. A purple ribbon or something that they associate with it. If I'm not mistaken, I thought about painting like it, a ribbon down here, but I probably won't. So, oh, also, I'm sorry, you asked also about this left side, and I told you I had some plans. I kind of thought about uh, making some uh, like seaweed or grass or something kind of coming up in a couple of spots, you know, uh, like taking a big brush and kind of coming up like so with uh, some grass or seaweed or whatever. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I might. <coughs> I forgot. That's actually looking really interesting. It's crazy. Yeah, go check that out. Uh, it'll help you out uh, a lot better than I can. I can't remember everything. I just kind of glanced over it and uh, checked it out because my wife is the one that told me about the uh, about the seahorse, and then I eventually just kind of looked it up, and you know that website popped up, and pretty neat little stuff. So, well, I'm gonna use that hair dryer again and dry this white paint that I put on here and <coughs> we'll go from there but uh, I know if you gotta go I appreciate you being in here and uh, it's because it has to do with Hippocamus Hippocamus I shall say sure okay all right well I appreciate it you have a great night great day great week great all that good stuff and uh, we'll see you next time See you later.
do a green. Do I have a green? No, nope, I haven't done a green. Let's do a green. <coughs> Doing a green. Hey, a normal name. Dark green. Good. Dark green. I can handle that. That's good. That's good. We'll call it done on that part right there. Might have put too much white on the belly. Maybe too much white. dog out.
Go ahead and fix that eye a little bit. Let's fix the old eye if we can. There we go. That's all it took. <laughs> That's all it took. One little dot. Much better. So we're an hour and 39, almost 40 minutes in. I don't think there's any more I can really do to the seahorse. I think the seahorse is pretty done. My only regret with the seahorse is I wish I would have laid the canvas down on a table and then outlined it all with my uh, glitter, my red glitter glue. Because <coughs> I could have done a lot uh, neater, uh, better lines, I believe. Because whenever you're up here and you're doing it like this, you're having to squeeze like this and trying to do like so. And if you're like this, it's already flowing out. And uh, that's what I wish I would have done different. Other than that, it's not bad. It's interesting. And I think once I get a little something just kind of subtle in the background a little bit, uh, it might, it's going to help it out. Tell you what I, I might do before we sign off is I might paint some of the edges. Uh, some of the edges that I can get to. Uh, <coughs> let's go with this one. Maybe. Let me check out these. Too small, too small. That might be too big, but it might be fine. Might look at that. Yeah, we'll use this one. When all else fails, sling the brush on the floor. So, Let's outline it. Uh, you know, let's uh, finish off the edge here in a nice, a nice dark blue, a violet. All right, we'll do it in a violet. How about that? <coughs> yeah, let's do it in a violet. Maybe. I'm reconsidering. Maybe not. Let's let's try this. I ain't even gonna try to read that. That's crazy. I ain't about to try to read all that. Whatever happened to just simple names? Blue. Purpley blue. Bluey blue. Blue or blue? Eh, I don't know. We'll see.
Now, I'm not too worried about it kind of bleeding over into the... Because I'm take it and kind of blend it away. There we go. <clears throat> so, the good news is, is look what you can do on a budget, guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Again, my wife got me the easel, the two canvases, a set of some paints and two sets of brushes for like, I wouldn't doubt, probably $20. It was really cheap. Uh, she got it for me for Christmas. And, uh... And I went out the day after Christmas and bought this little bundle of paints here at Walmart. These are a little bit better paints. ones that she got me were really watery and uh, didn't matter how much I shook them around they just watery so you know but still it is what it is this big pack here that I bought was only ten dollars That'll take a couple coats. And we'll get the top. And I know this ain't super interesting at this point. But, you know, you got to get it all done, guys. <clears throat> got to get it done.
good enough and then I'll get the bottom later we'll kind of blend it if I kind of blend if I kind of got some over on the main part I'll kind of blend it away later not a big deal all right Well, that's it for tonight, guys. We're going on two hours here. And uh, I appreciate you hanging out if you did. And uh, if you watch after the fact, I appreciate that. Uh, so anyway, of course, uh, like I said, my wife has epilepsy. The seahorse is the mascot for epilepsy. Uh, you can go check it out. Just type in Google, uh, you know, epilepsy seahorse mascot, and you'll come up to a page, and you can look at it and all that good stuff. <clears throat> so anyway guys thanks for watching like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beatdown because we not only do stuff fitness related walking talking lifting weights uh, talking about foods but we also tackle things like this for epilepsy depression anxiety and a host of other things uh, because it's all related okay so we'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Have a wonderful night and take care.